Welcome to 5 Minute Serverless. In this episode, we talk about the API Gateway, AWS SAM, and Cross Origin Resource Sharing. What's Cross Origin Resource Sharing, and how does it work? Cross Origin Resource Sharing, or CORS, allows a web application on one domain to access resources from a different origin. For example, if a web application sends a POST request from example.com to external-api.com, that's a cross-origin HTTP request. Normally, browsers would block these requests for security reasons. To allow these types of calls, the server needs to send cause headers. For simple GET requests, the server response needs to include the access control allow origin header. That could be a specific domain, or an asterisk to allow open access. More complex calls require a pre-flight validation. The browser first sends an options request to check if the actual call is safe to send. If the pre-flight validation succeeds, the browser sends the real request. Amazon API Gateway and AWS SAM have full support for cores. Let's create a sample project and see how cores works with SAM. Before we begin, make sure you have the following prerequisites. You also need a basic knowledge of Node and TypeScript. Start by creating a new folder and navigating to it using your terminal. We'll call it Cause Example. You can initialize an AWS SAM project the same way we did in previous episodes. Run the following command from your new folder using your terminal. This command will create a new AWS SAM project with a Hello World function written in TypeScript. Then open your template file and modify the hello world function to add an API gateway trigger. Add an API URL to the output section of your template file. Save the template and modify the lambda.ts file of the hello world function. This file is located in the source folder of our project. In our handler function, we'll return a status code and body passed in the post request body. Build and deploy this project to confirm that everything works as expected. To do so, run the commands you see on your screen. When the deployment finishes, Sam will output our API URL. To test cores, open your browser, visit any website, and open the developer tools. Send a POST request from the console using the Fetch API, and you'll see the cores error. To enable cores support, open your template file and replace the implicit serverless REST API in your template file with the explicit AWS serverless API resource. Providing the stage name is required for the AWS Serverless API, you can name your stage prod or anything else you like. Then update the hello world function by referencing the new API with its trigger. And update the outputs to print the new API URL. If you redeploy and test the app, you'll see the same cause error in your browser. To fix this problem, we need to add additional headers to the hello world function response. Open the lambda.ts file of hello world function and add headers to the object handler function returns. The handler function needs to return access control allow origin header to enable the cause support. Build and deploy the project. Then send the another HTTP request and you'll see that it works now. The cause configuration will work even if you return the error status code from your lambda function. But will it work in case of unhandled errors? Let's test this by updating the hello world function to throw an error if the status code is 400 or larger. Build and deploy the project again. Send a request, and you'll see the good old cause error. By default, API Gateway adds cause support for success calls only. If functions or authorizers throw an error, your API will not add cause headers to these responses. To enable cores for function and API errors, you need to add gateway responses to your API gateway resource. Open the template file and update your API with the following code. Then redeploy your application and send another test request. No more cores error. The gateway responses allow you to customize the response for different errors, such as access denied, authorizer failure, and many others. You can see the full list of gateway response types on the URL you see on the screen. The full example is available on the following GitHub repository. Thanks for watching another episode of 5 Minute Serverless. Feel free to send me feedback or questions on Twitter.